praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, welcome to our Seed of Victory live stream. Let us pray before we continue. Father in heaven, thank you, Father. Thank you. We bless you for your grace and your mercies upon our lives, Lord. Thank you, Father, for your love that is shared abroad in our hearts. Thank you, Father, for the anointing of the Holy Spirit, the wine, oh God, that is given to us, Father. Amen. We bless you, Lord, for what you are doing in this ministry. Amen. What you are doing in our lives, in our homes, Lord. Father, as we come today, oh God, we come at your feet, Lord, trusting, O oh God, that you will minister unto our spirit, Father. Speak to your servant unto your children, Lord. Speak your word, O oh Father, in fullness, Lord, in the strength of the seventh spirit of Christ, the voice of the seventh angel. If there be anyone, O oh God, that is afflicted, O oh God, Father, heal them, Lord. Physically and spiritually, Father, heal them, Father. Amen. Anyone, oh God, that is needs of touch, Father, touch them, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you. For in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's our seed of victory live stream. Let us turn our Bible to the book of Matthew, Matthew 13. By the grace of God, I'm going to speak on seed of victory. It's going to be a kind of summary. For a test, let's go to the book of Matthew 13. It's going to be a long one. Matthew 13. Matthew 13. I'm reading from verse 3. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, the sower went forth to sow. And when he sowed, some seed fell by the wayside. And fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places, where they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up, because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched. And because they had no roots, they withered away. And some fell among thorns. And the thorns sprang up and choked them. But others fell into good ground and brought forth fruit, some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. Who had an ear, let him hear. Praise be the name of the Lord. Now, this is a parable. This is the first parable the Lord, the Lord spoke about. And it's the parable of the sower. Now, when we talk about seed of victory, I want us to pay close attention. I'm going to be very, very calm. I'm going to take it slowly so that we can understand it. You see, when the Lord talks about seed of victory, it takes seed, the seed and the land to bring forth a harvest. Amen? Amen. It takes the good seed and a good ground to bring forth a harvest. Now listen. 
no matter how wonderful the seed is, if the ground falls into these first three classes, nothing is going to happen. There's not going to be a harvest. Now there's a mystery the Lord wants us to understand especially in this mis message. If you go back to the book of Genesis, you will understand that there is Eden and there is also Eden that is prepared by God himself. So there is Eden even in Eden. Let somebody say amen to that. Amen. The same way All men are not the same. Among all, there are those that are special. And as many that can listen to this gospel and receive it, is going to be a power of salvation unto you. Because we are who we are by Christ, the manifestation of Christ. We were receiving the beloved because of Christ. So now, even in Eden, there is also an Eden that is prepared by God himself. Among men, there are those that the Lord raised up himself. Now, I want us to get this. Because the Lord is using the first fruits to bring the rest unto maturity. Now, this is very important. Catch this. There's a reason why the Lord spoke about this parable. There's a very big reason. If you read down, because we're going to take our time to read it. There may not be enough time, but we're going to touch some key points. When the Lord spoke to his apostles, to his disciples, when he spoke to them, then he went in the hidden place. They asked him, what is this thing all about? He said, it is given unto you to know the secret of the kingdom. It is given unto you. So there is a privilege that is given unto you. So you are not like others. There is something special and peculiar about you. You are not like the rest of the world. So it is given to you to understand the mysteries of the kingdom. You are that good grant. Mm -hmm. Say amen to that. Amen. You are that good grant. And there's a reason why you are a good grant. There's a reason. He said the things that you hear, the things that you see, great prophets desire it, but they cannot see it. He said, before John, all that have come before John, John is greater than all the prophets. You can have a list of all the prophets. You can make a long list of all the prophets. But John is greater than all of them. He said, but the least in the kingdom of God is greater than John. What makes the least greater than John? There is something peculiar about them. Something peculiar. So you that is listening to me, there is something peculiar about you. The Lord does not do his business the way man does their business. And that's why the Lord said, he said he has chosen his own, predestinated them, ordained them, everything 
about them is according to God's program. That's why most of the time, when we try to do it on our way, we begin to suffer the same thing that Jonah suffered. Because we want to do it our way. If you are not created to be on your own, you must come to that place where you understand that you are a peculiar personality on it. You are special. You are a good grant. You are that grant that must bring forth the Christ. That grant that must bring forth the true harvest. Praise be the name of the Lord. When you have come to understand that there is something special about you, you cannot control your life. What will you do? You're going to bow down. You're going to bow down. You want to humble yourself. You're going to give up. Because I, I live for his purpose. I don't live for myself. I never chose him. He chose me. And the same thing with you. You never chose him. He chose you. And he didn't choose you for anything else. He chose you for his glory. Amen. Say amen to that. Amen. He chose you so that you will bring forth more fruits. You bring forth in 30, in 60, and in 100 folds. That is why he has chosen you. The Lord has chosen you so that you will become a planter. Amen. Amen. You will stand in the place of the Son of Man. Amen. Planting the life and the seed of the Father. Making the earth habitable for the word of God to dwell in it. You are making a planter on earth. Oh my. The Bible says. When the Lord finished all, he, he, he said there was no man to till the ground. There was no man to till the ground. The Lord has tilled your ground by himself. He shows us the example in the apostles. The Lord descended himself and he chose his disciples. He till the ground until it becomes a good ground. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And he sowed his life inside of that ground. He sowed his seed inside of that ground. And he brings forth millions of sons today. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Lord has made you a planter. One that is standing in the place of the Son of Man. Tilling the ground of this earth. So there was no man to till the ground. No man. Let's turn to the book of Genesis. Genesis. Don't close Matthew. Put one hand in Matthew. Turn to Genesis. Genesis chapter 2. A peculiar generation, a royal priesthood. Matthew 2, verse 5. And every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field before it grew. For the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was not a man to till the ground. Let's go back to our Matthew 13. No man to till the ground. So when the Lord chose
was a portion of Eden and planted a garden. He called it the Garden of Eden. But he chose a portion of that Eden. And he planted a garden in that Eden. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. After planting, planting and doing all that he did. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He put the tree of life there. And when man failed, he drove man, man outside of that place. What was inside the, the garden? The tree of life was inside there. What was being protected? The tree of life was being protected. So the Lord kept away carnality. Everything that is not of him, he kept them away. And sealed that tree of life. And that tree of life is a people A many member body of Christ is not just one person. It is a many member body of Christ. Oh, at the end of days, the Lord himself is calling out these people. Calling them out. Calling them out. Amen. Revealing them. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He said it is given unto you to know the secrets of the kingdom of God. It is given unto you. Praise be the name of the Lord. It Hallelujah. is given unto you to know the secret. You are the planting of the Lord. You are the good ground of God. That ground that the Lord planted himself. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He tilled you himself. Oh my. There are many messengers on earth. There are many preachers on earth. There are many pastors on earth. There are many apostles on earth. But the Lord chose specially because you are special. Amen. He chose you specially to come because you are special. Praise be the name of the Lord. Oh my. Our meeting and union and fellowship is by predestination. Amen. It's not by error. It's not by mistake. It's because you are special. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. My. He directs you to the ones that speak the full word of Christ. Because that is what you need to comfort. You need a fullness of Christ to comfort. You need a fervent spirit of Christ to be declared. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. There are so many out there in denominations listening to half back world. Listening to, not because you are better than them. It's because you are special. Oh my. Oh God. I see the Lord Jesus Christ, the ministry of the Son of Man, made manifest. Being declared on earth. And the Father himself calling the members of his body. One by one. He's calling them one after the other. He's preparing them. Tilling their hearts. As he got to that time, he asked them, Have you yet not with understanding? Have you not yet not with understanding? It is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. For there to be a harvest, it takes the original seed and the good ground. So it's given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom. My. John was one of them. So I was in the spirit on the last day. I was in the spirit and I turned. I hear the voice of the Son of Man declaring on earth. Amen. When you look 
at them, they are like men. But in reality, they speak the voice of the seventh angel. Amen. He turned to, he said, I saw one like unto a man. The ministry of the Son of Man. I want us to pay close attention. We don't understand the program of what the Lord is doing. Amen. He turned. There was something that caught his attention. It is the word that was coming forth from the Son of Man. It is the word that was coming forth. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Who is the Son of Man? He said, when the Son of Man come, shall I find faith? When the preaching of the gospel is bringing forth, is there going to be a good heart to bring forth a harvest? The full harvest. The hundredfold harvest. Is there going to be a good heart to receive the testimony of this kingdom? Is there going to be a good heart to receive the preaching of the world. It's as many that receive him. To them that is given the power to become the sons of God. Amen. Man. Listen. Pay close attention. And understand. The, the Lord was speaking to his body. Those that is that are his temple, those that are his dwelling place. Oh my! They need the manifested world to declare the seal, the tree of life that is in them. They need it. They need the seven spirit of God to declare the sealed life of God in them. He said it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom. Say you are a good grant. Don't misunderstand me. The Lord has not called you to condemn others. As the Lord is building you, it is your responsibility to build others. No matter how hardness that ground is, continue to till it. Many of us was worse than them. We are worse. But the mercy and the grace of the Father located us. And the Lord continued to till that ground. Until that stoning heart becomes a heart of flesh. He didn't abandon us. Even in our, in, in our own belief, he continued to till that heart. Even as we try to resist the world, he did not abandon us. He continued to steal that heart. When the Lord called Peter, Peter followed him for some time. And, and Peter loved fishing more than being a disciple. His heart was not completely tilled then. The Lord didn't give up on him. He went back he went back to fish. You see, the Lord didn't come to him and said, what are you doing here? Get out. No. Listen, the Lord followed him. Encouraged him. And at the end, the Lord asked him, do you love me more than this? Do you love me more than this? Even when Peter denied him three times, three is the number of perfection, completely, he denied him completely. The Lord never abandoned him. He said, I know 
that the enemy desire you, but I have prayed for you. He didn't leave him. After denying the Lord completely, there's a difference between Peter and the one that sold Jesus. There's a difference. That one went and hung himself. But Peter went back and cried to the Lord. He cried and asked for mercy. He asked for mercy. Even then he never knew that he's a child of grace. That the Lord have already prayed for him. The Lord knew all his weakness. He said, I have prayed for you. He said, I am your strength. He knew all his weakness. He didn't leave him. He was not looking for a perfect heart. He was looking for his beloved. You are his beloved. No matter how imperfect you think you are, to him you are perfect. You are just his beloved. He took you the way you are. He shower you his love. Even when you are hearing that word. And the word is not sticking in. When you are hearing. And it's not sticking in. He didn't leave you. He continued to till that ground. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We did not just wake up. To come to full understanding of Christ. It did not just become a good land just like that. It took a walk and a labor of love. The Holy Spirit continued to bear with us. To labor. To labor. To labor. But there is a consolation. That labor was not in vain. Say amen to that. Amen. It was not in vain. It was not in the case of the carnal man. The Lord said, my spirit will no longer strive with this one. My spirit will not strive with this one. I'm giving him a number of days. He's going to live a certain number of days. He will pass out of this existence without bringing forth life. You are not like that. Let somebody say amen to that. Amen. You are that grant that will bring forth life right here in this time. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. Not in the grave. You are not going down the grave. You are bringing forth life. So don't think, oh, ah, I need to be perfect. No. He took you the way you are. He knew. Look at Peter. Peter is just an example of the believer. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. Let's go back to Matthew 13. He said, and when you are sold, verse 4, and when you are sold, some seed fell by the wayside. And the fowl came and devoured them. Now let's go down to verse 18. Now let's see what the wayside mean. 18. Hear ye therefore the parable of the sower. He said when anyone hear the word of the kingdom. And understanded it not. Then come the wicked one. And catch it away that which was in which was sown in his heart. This is he which receives seed by the wayside. We were all like this. We were all like this. We were all like this. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But he never gave up on us. He never gave up on us. 
There's a picture that the Lord is bringing forth. He's bringing forth our walk. He's bringing forth our walk. At first, we were void. Nothing. Filled with darkness. No understanding. Now, that is the picture that we, we are seeing here. No understanding. He said, when anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understanded it not, we had no understanding. That was how we were. Without understanding. And where there is no understanding, what do we have? We have a picture of darkness. And we have a picture of Genesis 1, 2. What's the picture of Genesis 1, 2? Let us read it. Genesis 1, 2. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Did the Spirit of the Lord stop there? No. He never left you like that. What happened? And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. Now listen, the spirit of the Lord left and goes straight to the deep because the depth of the earth is found beneath the water. It is the lowest realm of man. That is where the spirit of the Lord went down for you. Many of us, many of us are coming forth from the nomination. We are coming forth from every other religious system. Praise be the name of the Lord. Praise the God. Spirit of the Lord went down there to call us out. And the Lord said, you are my church. I am not leaving you in this darkness. I am not leaving you without understanding. You are not like the rest of the world. Among the dead ones, the Lord has picked you out. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In your lack of understanding, the Lord didn't leave you like that. He went down for you. Oh man. I can hear the songwriter says, Oh man. Oh. He said he went down there for me. Oh man. He said, I was lost and undone. Without God or his son, he went down. He showed down his love for me. Oh my. Hope I can remember that song. He didn't leave us in our darkness. Oh my. He went down his love for me. Down his hands for me. I was lost and undone without God or his son. Oh my. He didn't leave us like that. Even in our understanding. I want us to understand how victorious we are today. Know where you are today. So that you can bring forth that seed. In hundred folds. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He didn't leave us. He didn't leave us. We are all born like every other one is born. But there is a mark of ownership upon your life. There's a mark of ownership upon your life. Everyone has a story to tell. Everyone has a story to tell how far he has walked in this journey. In this journey of the calling out. In this journey of the separation. 
in this journey of the bringing forth the full harvest. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We are like that. We are like that. Not different from the world. What happened? He came down and met us there. He didn't leave us there. He came down to us. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. He said, when one heareth the words of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sowed in his heart. This is he which received seed by the wayside. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now I want us to look down. Look down this scripture. Look down. Use a deeper eyesight to look at it. Use a deeper eye to look at it. Just look down into the scripture. He said, when anyone heareth the words of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. He said, this is he which received the seed by the wayside. But there's a difference between you. There's a difference. Even in that darkness, even in that forgotten state, in that state of no form, that state of darkness, that weakest state, praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. The Satan has no charge over your life. The life is sealed out. He has no charge. He couldn't touch that life. He couldn't touch it. He couldn't touch it. Because there's something special about you. You are beyond the reach of the enemy. Even in your weakest state, you are more than conqueror. Say amen to that. Amen. He cannot reach you. Even in the weakest state, he still cannot reach you. Talk less now that you have come to understand. What are you going to do? You're going to crush him. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You're going to raise up that seed that is bringing an end to that serpent. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. No matter what you are passing through, it look as if nothing is going on. It look as if you have lost hope. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Man! You know what the Lord Jesus says? Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. He said, Arise and shine forth. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The life that is inside of you is an abiding life. Amen. It is not that one that anything can take it. No power can take it. No amount of demons can take it. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You are sealed. Nothing can touch that life. No matter where you are, oh my, no matter how the wind move you, raise you up, bring you down, you are more than conqueror. Amen. You cannot touch it. You can't touch it. When a seed is planted into the ground, praise be the name of the Lord. The ground, there's going to be a lot of trials. There's going to be a lot of testing. There's going to be so many things that that seed must pass through. Praise be the name of the Lord. It's going to pass through death. Death to self. Death to unbelief. 
Death to everything that is not of God. Death to everything that is of this world. It's going to be death to it. Passing through it. Gloriously passing through it. Before you see a new life being sprung forth. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have to understand how special you are. You are not just a good grant. You are the planting of God himself. The planting of God himself. Not just the planting of God himself. The Lord has put his mark upon you. His mark of ownership upon you. Listen. You are the chosen of the Lord. The elect of Christ. The Bible says... He said, if it were possible, if it were possible, so it is impossible for the elect to be deceived. It's impossible. No matter how the wind, no matter how the trials, no matter how the troubles, you are going to come up victoriously. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You are going to come up this victory. Victoriously, got to ride into it, and you come out. Now, listen. Let me tell you one secret. Before Jesus went down to the grave, he did not go down the grave for nothing. He did not go down empty. He went down there with life. Amen. Before you were brought down here, you came down here with life. Oh my, you are alive, riding upon death, Amen. consuming death, Amen. consuming it, consuming it. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Until death is no more. Say, so He's the one that shineth, the lighteneth everyone that cometh into this world. He said, Darkness cannot comprehend it. Darkness cannot comprehend it. Darkness cannot comprehend it. Darkness cannot comprehend it. Yeah. You are um, there enough victory in you. You need to come up. Hear the voice of the seventh angel. And you come up. Arise and shine for the life of your father. Amen. There's enough victory inside you. Amen. There is a risen Christ inside you. You need to hear that voice and come up in a resurrection. Amen. Arise and shine forth. Amen. Shine for the glory of your Father. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You are alive, riding upon death. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Man. The seed of victory. You have enough of his life. Enough of his strength. No matter what you are going through. Look deep inside. There is a life. Amen. There is a victory. And as this voice is coming forth. As this voice is coming forth, declaring the day of the Lord into that darkness, no matter how thick that darkness is, arise and shine, for your light is come. Amen. And the glory of the Lord is risen, risen upon you. My, his glory is risen upon you. His glory is risen upon you. His glory is risen upon you. He is calling upon you. Come up. Come up. Come up. Come up. Come up. Be courageous. Continue to hold on to God's unchanging hand. Continue to hold on to that Christ's life inside of you. No matter what the trial is. No matter what the temptation is. No matter what the tempest is, Amen. rest in the peace of that Christ. Amen. 
there's a seed of victory inside of you. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. The Lord said, He said, Look not left, look not right, look not into the deserts, look not into the hidden chambers. Oh my. That planting of the Lord is just hidden away from the eyes of the flesh. It is within you. Amen. It's within you. Amen. He said, that kingdom is within you. He said, the world will not see me. The world will not see me. But you will see me. Amen. Praise be and death of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh my. We've seen the people that have passed through stages of life. No matter how temp the tempest is, they will always come up victorious. Better. Greater. More glorious. Praise be the name of the Lord. Oh my. Now let's go back to the scripture. Matthew 13. Matthew 13, let's continue. It's going to be a long reading. My, my time is almost up. It's going to be a long reading. Now watch. Verse 5. Some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth and fought what? They sprung up because they had no deepness of earth. Now let's go to verse 18. What there is something the Lord wants you to understand here. But he that received the seed into stony places, the same is he that heareth the word, and anon. With joy receiveth it. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We come into the second state. Oh my. The state where we can now hear. Now listen. Where we can now hear. And where we will be filled with joy. Now let watch. And anon with joy receiveth it. Yet had he not root in himself, but dured for a while. For when tribulation or persecution arises because of the world, by and by he is offended. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now we have understanding. And there is a joy. There is an anointing. There is a wine. We are receiving that wine that is coming out from that fellowship, from that union, from that word that we have received. But watch. That word was not yet rooted. Now listen. Why was it not rooted? Because there is going to come forth thorns. Thorns is going to come forth on the same ground. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now watch. The word is not yet rooted. And there are thorns. And because he's not yet rooted, he gets offended. And when he gets offended, what happened? It is swept off. But in our case, there is a seal of protection. I want you to pay close attention to this. There is a sea of protection. 
when the devil comes like a flood to sweep away that seed that is not yet rooted in your heart do you know what the lord does the lord raises up a standard praise be the name of the lord he raises up a standard now what happens now listen don't miss this don't miss it instead of that seed to be swept away because there's a seed of protection upon you you have to understand to know when the enemy is coming against the Christ that is in you listen at first you receive it with joy but when trial comes that joy begins to go praise be the name of the Lord the psalmist says you know what the psalmist says he said, restore unto me the joy of my salvation and renew the right spirit within me. He said, create in me a new heart. Oh, Lord. He understands that he cannot lose his salvation. He understands it, but he may lose his joy. You may lose your joy. But that life, nothing will touch it. Nothing will touch it. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The psalmist said, Oh, I have lost that joy. I am feeling, Oh, I'm feeling so unrest in my spirit. You are feeling that unrest because something has come to sweep that word away from you. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't think that you have lost it. You have not lost it. The Christ in you can never. Nothing can take it away. Nothing can take it away. You may have involved yourself into some things that have killed that joy inside of you. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Go back like the psalmist cried back. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Paul said, he said, grieve not the Holy Spirit. Say, you are sealed. So, there is, you are going to be grieved. When you grieved, when the Spirit is grieved, that means you, you, you are not going to be happy. You are going to feel the fire burning through you. You are going to feel it. The fire is going to burn through you. You will lose your joy, but you will not lose your life. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You know what it will do? It will make you it will make you to be more rooted. Glory to God. Hallelujah. As you continue to overcome, you are continuing to be rooted in Christ. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You come to that place that that joy will be permanent. Nothing can take it away anymore. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Creating me a new heart. Oh Lord, and renew the right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, oh Lord. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me. The joy of my salvation and renew the right spirit within me. <clears throat> the wind of life may have blown you to a place where you have lost your joy. Hear the voice and turn back. Turn back to him. And let that Christ that is in you become even more stronger in your trials. Become even more stronger in your time of temptations. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let nothing touch that life. Let nothing touch it. The Lord has protected you. He has sealed himself in you. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Wherever there is anything carnality coming close to that Christ life, you are grieving that spirit. You are going to feel 
you are losing that joy. It doesn't mean that you have lost your salvation. You have not lost it. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You are that salvation. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You have not lost it. You may have lost that joy. Go back. Turn back to him. The Lord was crying to the church. Yeah, go back to your first love. You say you have left that first love. Go back. Go back to your first love. The Lord has not left you. He has not abandoned you. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He's still holding your hands strong and speaking to the storm. Let there be peace. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We are going to stop here. In the next two Saturdays, Let's see what the Spirit has for us. We can continue or we'll teach some other things. Let us pray. Thank you, Father, for ministering unto us, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father, for taking away those stones, heart of stone, because there is a heart of flesh beneath, O oh God. O oh Lord. You have used the things that we suffer, Lord, to brush away those heart of stone so that the heart of flesh will comfort, Lord. Amen. You have revealed to us, Lord, that you are, we are your elect and nothing can separate us from the love that is in Christ, Amen. our beloved. Amen. Bless everyone, O oh God, that will listen to these words. And let the light of Christ even shine brighter in them, Father. Amen. Tomorrow is another day, Lord. Bring us, O oh God, to come and hear from you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. God bless you all.